Hey folks, how y'all doing? Hey, this is a video about keeping your battery bank warm. Um, here's my battery bank right here. I'm not doing it right now, but this is a test. And I have these seating heat mats. Alright. And the, the rubber with um, like, a, like a cool inside. Sort of like a heat, heat like an uh, electric blanket sort of thing. But it's a propagation mat. Helps your, um, um, yeah, propagation helps your uh, seeds, um, you know, grow and keep them heated, you know, and helps them um, produce butter. But this is a 17 watt right here, 17 watt at 120 volts. And this one right here, I've been using this one for a while, it's 45 watts at 120 volts. All right. And this is another 17 water. So you can see right there. And these are these are UL listed. Uh, let's say UL listed. All of, all of them are. But anyway, we're gonna do a test. Okay. Oh, bear with me. That's my phone. <laughs> you get a message. Alright. Well, anyway, these things right here. Uh, I'm doing a little test, and they're pretty safe. I have them a greenhouse up against wood and all that kind of stuff. But right now inside the shop, the, the, the solar power shop, and it's cloudy today. We're only putting out like 100 watts right now. I mean, it's, it's on the verge of raining. But it's 80.6 degrees in here. And, you know, it's, it's warm. So... I mean, I got it warm, so my batteries will stay warm. Because at night, I'll probably get down in the 50s tonight. But this is mainly when it gets real cold in the wintertime. I want to keep my batteries warm. All right, but I'm going to do a little test. You know, and y'all can see that the temperature in here is 80 degrees. And the full temperature is probably a little cooler. It's probably like 70. Uh, well, I'll tell you exactly what it is. I mean, I'll tell you what it's for. I'll put the sensor on the floor. And I'll let it sit there for a little bit. Here's my temperature gauge. And we'll come back. I'll get an accurate reading on the floor that you know what the temperature is. Okay. I'll be right back. All right, people. I'm back. Uh, anyway, this uh, the floor temperature with the sensor is 73.6 degrees. The upper um, temperature above the floor above my, you know, on top of my battery bank cover is 81 degrees. And it's not 8.49 p.m. at night. It's uh, 3.46 in the afternoon. At, I thought the time's wrong on that. But anyway, uh, today's October the 10th. 10.10. 10. All right. Same 3.6 degrees. And sensor is right here. Down here by my feet. That's the sensor. All right. And... Uh, my battery sit about four inches, that two by four down there, about three and a half inches off the floor, plus the plywood, so another, yeah, four inches. My battery sit about four inches off the floor, that way keep, they keep cool in the summertime, and that's the reason why I got my vent fans. Uh, that's, my, that's my exhaust, and my intakes are there on the other side. But yeah, it's real important to keep your batteries at a constant, good temperature you can, and this is my, my solar power shop, it's outside. So I'm looking at ways to keep my batteries cool and warm in the wintertime. Then in the summertime, you're looking at ways to keep your batteries cool. <laughs> but, you know, uh, but that's, that's been working. I, that's one reason I run the air conditioner in the summertime uh, to keep my batteries cool. Uh, because it gets tremendously hot in here, especially with the inverter running. And the inverter temperature, and the fan's not running right now because it's not warm enough. It's 96.6 degrees. So it keeps it fairly warm out here uh, in the fall time of year and spring and winter. Cause I got the solar air heater also going too. But right now the temperature is 69.4 outside, but 81.5 in here because that inverter is like a like a heater on the zone. And we had some good sun early part of the morning, but now it's clouding up. We look like it's gonna start to rain. Plus the uh, barometer is falling pretty good. S slow, slow falling barometer. 
Alright, and like I say, we're making a 27.7 volts, and we're at 164 watts right now. No wind, just solar. Alright, anyway, we're at 73.6 degrees. Alright, I'm going to take this sensor and put it on my hogger mats. I'm going to put the hogger mat sensor right there, and I'm going to, right here. I got on my heat mat. I'm gonna put these on top of it. Just so I can get a general idea how warm they get. Okay. And that's what I'm gonna put inside my battery bank. The bigger one now, the, the bigger 45 watt, I'll probably fold that over. And or maybe go over top of my battery bank. It's rubber, it's not gonna hurt anything. And it's AC powered. And it's just, this is how much power it draws. Alright, I'm gonna show you something here. Um but it draws 45, I, I calculate it, it says 45 watts for the bigger one. Uh, and the two 17 watters will E equals out to 32 watts. So it actually only draws 79 watts to, to keep your batteries warm. So that's not too bad. Okay, and here's my kilowatt meter. I got the extension cord plugged up. All right, going down to... Right there, I got all three hydro mats, seating heat mats, excuse me, hooked up into a uh, regular, and this, this is good for up like 1600 watts, that's what, the, what it says anyway on the uh, the package. Uh, it says specifications, household cord, it's good for 125 volts, 13 amps at 1,625 watts. So that's, that's cool. So I'm, I'm more than safe. But anyway, it's UL listed. Everything I have is UL listed. Okay. And it's Ace, Ace brand. Not to get a real hot dollar. Anyway. Uh, anyway, we're drawing 81 watts. We're nice heat match right now. 81 watts. Okay, let me see if I can. Okay. 0.66 amps. So that's less than a, way less than an amp. But I, more or less, you know, I mean, it's like a half amp. <laughs> but 0.66 amps. 120, 122.9 volts. Uh, I don't know what the heck that means. Uh, 60 some hertz, yeah, 60 hertz. 81, it says a 81 of oh, VA. Let me get back to watts again. 81 watts. Yep, 81 watts. All right, and this is real time. Okay, I just put the sensor. On even there, y'all said it's all the temperature of it before. It was like what 73.6. Now it is a hundred point four. And it's only been like a couple minutes now and it's still steadily rising. So I will come back and we'll see what the temperature does. It's still rising. And I'll I think it'd be a good way in the wintertime when it gets on real cold nights. To keep your battery bank warm. I mean, especially like like myself, I got a small battery bank, but and it's enclosed. But hey, and uh, they're they're safe. They're pretty safe. I mean, I, mean, I, I just use it to your own use it to your own discretion. I mean, I'm just saying this is what I'm going to do to keep my battery warm. It's like a like a heat a heat blanket, like an electric blanket to keep your batteries warm to be nice and toasty and happy in the winter time. So anyway. And I'm gonna lay them along the sides of the batteries and that kind of stuff. And heat air, hot air rises, so it'll keep the, it'll keep this battery bank nice and toasty. And this is all plywood. And it gets get really hot to burn plywood. Believe me, I've welded every type of plywood for years, and you can't hardly get this stuff to burn. Um, you know. Anyway, we will come back, and I'll let you see the temperature. How, how warm it gets, the ambient actual temperature of the heat mats. All right, be back shortly. 
and it's still rising. All right, well, we're at 120, 102.9 degrees. 102.9, 103.1. Okay, we'll come back here in five or ten minutes or so until it peaks out. All right, check y'all later. Okay, y'all, I'm back again. We're doing this uh, heating your battery bank up in the wintertime. I'm talking like them, like when you get them 10 and uh, 20 degree nights here in Virginia or, you know, once in the blue moon we get them and even on them 30 degree nights if you want to keep your battery bank nice and toasty without burning a lot of power. But th these three hydro mats, um, seating heat mats, they're made by Hydro Farm. Uh, it only burns 81 watts. That's not bad. I mean, that's that's really good. 81 watts. I mean, that's not bad at all. And here they are. They're right here. And I'm gonna stick them inside my battery bank. And the brand name of them is, like I said, Hydro Farm. And uh, anyway, I'll get a better close-up on that. But it, I've waited an hour. It's 108.5 degrees. And you figure the temperature, the floor temperature before was 73.6. So that is 73.6. Let me get my calculator out here. Um, 108.5. So... Let's see here. One hundred eight point five. Subtract seventy three point six. Is it what the floor temperature was before? Thirty thirty four point nine degrees. It will raise your temperature. So let's say it's thirty degrees out. It ought to help. Uh, raise your battery bank temperature up by at least 30 degrees. So that's good to know. Good to know. And you're only burning 81, 81 watts, which is uh, a lot. It's just as, uh, less than a lot, of, a lot of light bulbs out there. And here's what they're called. Hydro farm. Seed heating mats. And you get seven, 17 watts. 45 watts, you can get bigger. So, that's just, I just wanted to show you all that. And I got a regular outdoor plug. I mean, indoor plug. And, uh, I mean, and it's plugged in right here. And, uh, there you go. That's how I'm, I'm going to plug it up to my power strip. And there you go. Good way to heat your batteries in the wintertime. To keep them nice and toasty, and that's about 108.7. But I don't, I don't only hook them up on a cold, on cold nights. Then unplug them. Anyway, I just want to let y'all know what little idea I had, and I'll be trying that in the future. Anyway, I want to thank y'all for watching um, my video. Thank you very much. Please subscribe. God bless and simplify. This is KVSMC. Y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching. Or Kenneth W. Vire Jr. Or Kenny. Just call me Kenny. All right. Take care, y'all. All right. Bye-bye.